Hey guys, so this is going to be my nine week pregnancy vlog. Um, I just recorded my eight week vlog and my seven week vlog not too long ago. Um, I still haven't got it up so you guys will probably see these two videos around the same time. I have been extremely busy and we've been so sick and like a cold that went around the house and then to boot I have morning sickness and stuff so having a head cold and having morning sickness was just horrible. So I am currently nine weeks and three days today I believe. No, two days today. Um, it is Saturday. I had my prenatal appointment on Thursday on April the 30th and today is May the 2nd. So um, I'm gonna go over all that good stuff. So I am currently 121 pounds still. Um, that's according to the doctor's office. Um, the baby this week is the size of a large green olive, 0.9 inches long or 0.07 ounces in weight right now. This week the, t the baby's tiny little muscles are growing so their muscles are developing and growing so soon you'll be able to feel them kick and moving around and being all rambunctious and energetic and everything inside your belly. Um, which I honestly can't wait. And your body is working overtime this week to develop your baby's placenta, which is super cool because right away they will no longer need the egg, uh, yolk sac or whatever that's called, um, to survive. They will actually survive off the placenta. As far as my prenatal and ultrasound section of this week, um, I definitely had my first prenatal. Uh, wasn't anything exciting. I didn't get to hear the heartbeat or anything cool like that. Um, they just basically went over family history, which is kind of what I assumed. Um, they didn't even do a pap or anything like that. That'll be my next appointment. It's going to be on May 20th. I'll be 12 weeks, so watch out for that. Calculated my due date based on um, their numbers and that kind of thing. Um, and he gave me the exact same due date, so I'm still due December 3rd, 2015. So that's awesome. I'm really glad that I was like dead on with my dates. They did give me a ton of pamphlets and two books which I'll show you. So the first book that they gave me is a pregnancy and birth book. It just looks like this. Uh, it has everything from your uh, first, basically any, everything to do with your first trimester, second trimester, third trimester, and then a little bit into the newborn. Um, it gives you like lists. Um, there's like an overview of pregnancy. It shows you like some really nice pictures. Second book they gave us is this one, and this is an early years book. This book is good from newborn all the way until five. So there's different sections on the early years, um, healthy growing family time, um, feeding your baby. And these books are huge, just for the record. Just like in a healthy eating pamphlet with. Um, basically just a whole bunch more pamphlets. I'm not even going to go through them all. I, they also gave me requisition forms for my ultrasound and I have to go and get blood work which I totally called that. Um, so I'm going for my first ultrasound on May the 7th. Um, yeah, May the 7th at 2pm. I get to go see the baby. I'm so excited about that. And then um, at some point after that I obviously have to do blood work and that kind of thing. Anyways, my symptoms this week are pretty similar to the last few weeks. Um, I've still been pretty nauseous. Um, the vomiting seems to have subsided, so I mean, I can handle the nausea as long as that's all I have to deal with. I can handle the nausea a lot better than I can handle like actually getting sick, so I would rather be nauseous than get sick um, in the long run, so it's nice that I haven't been getting sick in the morning. That's been a huge plus this week. Um, I have been exhausted again this week. I think I'm just gonna be exhausted. I, I remember being exhausted with both my pregnancies. My smell is still very sensitive sensitive to everything. I can't even feed my dog because of the dog food is just like the, the smell is so overpowering. Um, my breasts are still extremely sore. I'm sure that's not gonna change anytime soon. They definitely feel full. I am still feeling super bloated this week. I probably don't look bloated to anybody else, but I'm used to having a very flat stomach. Like I'm very skinny and I can never gain any weight. So whenever I am bloated and stuff, I definitely do know it. Um, my cravings this week, my appetite is finally coming back. I have finally been indulging in some better foods. Um, fruits and vegetables are still to my go-to snacks, but I've been feeling more of eating soups and um, sandwiches and fuller meals. Like I've only been snacking for the last few weeks, um, six or eight times a day to try to keep up with eating enough meals a day, obviously, because when you're snacking, you're not get getting as much nutrients as you would from a full meal. My 
like with me eating 68 times a day and having supper which was sufficient enough like I mean I'm getting enough food um, it definitely is nice not to be snacking as much and getting bigger meals so being baked goods still um, I don't know what it is about baked goods but that's all I want to eat I want to eat fruit I want to eat like raw vegetables um, hot dogs I actually for once actually like and that is weird because I really don't like hot dogs at all cheese meat and crackers has been one of my favorite snacks this week I've been craving it like crazy I just love it I don't know why like I said those easy meals are still the easiest for me to eat um, the snacky food I still am quite enjoying I also have been craving um, like ice creams and sweets and chocolate and that kind of stuff I've been trying to avoid it but I've definitely been craving it this week it's not really anything new this week I still can't eat eggs um, cooked vegetables are still a big no-go for me I do not think cooked vegetables and me are gonna get along this pregnancy it's just not gonna happen um, every time I eat anything that's cooked vegetable whether it's broccoli cauliflower um, you know carrots anything just anything that's vegetables minus I guess carrots or minus sorry minus corn every other cooked vegetable I cannot handle so I've been really trying to make sure that the kids are getting their cooked vegetables but I've been trying to stay away from it and thank god Dustin's been helping cook them and stuff because the smell even gets me in the world for showing off a baby bump is definitely like the bloated part of my belly. Um, so above waist, I am still 28 inches. I am a little bit tighter. I would say basically 32 and a half inches. That's pretty tight. That's actually quite a bit bigger on the bottom than last week. I was 28 last week, I believe, um, and I was 31. So 32 and a half is actually quite um, a big growth on the bottom of my belly. So it's not just me thinking that I'm bloated. I'm definitely bloated. But yeah, that's basically everything. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day.